Just the quick overview, sir. Uh, the mission background. It was uh, opened on 6th April 2011 uh, with the view that um, this office will strengthen our Look North policy. And uh, with the closure of the Fiji High Commission in Kuala Lumpur in 2020, <coughs> all the functions were transferred to Fiji Embassy Jakarta. So that's it, it, it sort of uh, the added responsibility uh, makes the, the work much more broader and uh, with the countries of accreditation uh, ex expanded. Uh, this is a significant moment for the embassy here in, uh, in Indonesia, as you can see, sir, that we are accredited to Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, and the UNSCAP. It's quite a, a load in terms of taskings, but uh, with the current staffing that I have now, uh, we are able to cover this uh, for the benefit of our bilateral relations between uh, our beloved Fiji and these respective countries of uh, accreditation. Uh, with increasing geographical coverage and scope, it just makes uh, our work more more exciting eh? uh, with the non-accredited countries. We cover those four countries, and in terms of our consular duties, we also cover the entire Southeast Asia. The reason being, our diaspora are, are spread all over these countries. Yeah. When there is an issue that uh, involves uh, their civil, uh, their the travel documents, passports, and all those things, or their, their residence, uh, or even looking at overstaying, uh, the mission will, will have to cover that, eh? uh, even though it is not officially accredited, but it's something that uh, we do at the mission. This year, it will be the 50th anniversary of our diplomatic relations, and uh, we're hoping that we can elevate our bilateral relations to the, uh, to the next level, so that we continue to benefit from these important relations that we have. Indeed, there are enormous opportunities for economic growth and sustainable development for us eh? uh, in, in, in this uh, part of the world. Uh, the bilateral issues, though, those are the four countries that we are covering. Um, in terms of uh, Indonesia, we have grant agreements that are looking into specific sectors. Uh, maybe one that I could just mention now is the uh, we have a prison officer or a correction officer right now doing his MA in psychology. Uh, he's studying uh, in, uh, in in one of the top universities here in uh, in Indonesia, um, and uh, also we have our uh, uh, the police, as you have seen last night, SSP Cassiano is part of this leadership management training um, uh, that train leaders for future roles in leadership. Eh? Uh, an important establishment in terms of our diplomatic relations is the establishment of honorary consuls. Mm. Uh, the gentleman that you see standing there next to Ratinoke is Mr. Tahir, that you will be awarding uh, uh, his uh, <coughs> award, that will be receiving an award today. Uh, he's been uh, a very good asset to Fiji with all his uh, assistance and we hope to continue to nurture and uh, cultivate uh, his goodwill to support Fiji in a, in a much more elaborate uh, way. This, these are our staffing issues. As you know, Solo is my counselor. I'm so happy that he's joining me in January this year <coughs> to strengthen our, our work in the mission. Uh, we have a second secretary and we have uh, our interns, uh, Mina, sitting here, Wilmaina. Uh, Mike is not here. Uh, Leone and Johnny, who are supporting the work of the mission. <laughs>